Hey all and welcome back for another round of Health Icons Patreon TV Coms. Today we are returning to the Big O Dub for episodes 4 to 6. These are once again commissioned by Samurai Snake. And if you need sinking help, check the video description. There's all kinds of useful details in there. So here we go. Episode 4 of the Big O's Dub in 3, 2, 1. Yeah, I bet you've been looking forward to this, haven't you, Neo? God, yes. Big O! Uh, I want a giant robot. Not even to, like, uh, fight monsters or anything, just to chill in, really. Just to chill in, just to have, like, just, just get my music in there. I have some, like, large subwoofers. Yeah. Uh, man. See, really, th this just means that actually the best mecha show for us to be in would be uh, Mecha's XLR. <laughs> yes, exactly, yeah. <laughs> uh, that was a fun show. I didn't watch all of it, but what I caught, I liked. Yeah, it was it was really fun. Right, I gotta get the big O wiki page up just so I can remember stuff. Ah, oh, God, I don't even care. That, oh, they don't remember wikis have that status thing. You don't want to spoil yourself. Oh, don't worry. I'm not on like the fan wiki. I'm on the original wiki. Yeah, Wikipedia page. Yeah. Oh man. Ah. Uh, like I'll, I'll never get over this. I don't even care that it's just being Flash Gordon by Queen. <laughs> yeah, it's, it kind of is, really. Yeah. All right. So there's the future. There's Roger, who is a negotiator. There's a big, big old robot called the Big O, and then there's a robot girl whose name escapes me. Dorothy. That's the one. Our Dorothy Wainwright. And his butler Norman Berg. <laughs> Okay. So we're still pretty solidly in the Monster of the Week section of uh -huh. Big O. Yeah. Uh, I would say in the latter bits of this season and through all of season two is where it gets uh, far more uh, serialized Yeah, as the story goes. But it's good to start off with the Monster of the Week stuff because you establish a status quo uh, so that we can and we spend enough time with them. Uh, you know, doing things as normal. Yeah. So that we can then be more invested when things begin to go off the rails and we get a more structured story. Yeah, I'm fine with, like, Monsters of the Week to build up your characters and do stuff like that. That's how some of my favorite series did it. It became more serialized down the line. And you're right, when you don't have a story, you can spend that time basically character developing and world building. Yeah, and, like, there's an element of, like, you know, you need that sort of, uh, s stable, uh, fun stuff. Yeah. I think, a lot of the time. You know, that was, I think, the big problem with, uh, uh obviously a completely different medium, but it was the big problem with, uh, Superman in the, uh, recent DC films, uh, was that they were so invested on getting to story beats that we didn't get any time to spend with him being Superman yeah. and like saving people or and you know stopping disasters. I mean, it's easy to take it for granted now, but the Avengers was a huge deal when it first came out. Yeah. And a lot of that was because they you know, they spent a few movies before that building up yeah. the character. Hi, Angel. Oh, uh, there she is. Our mysterious woman. She was there with the big old Electro monster attack, right? Yeah. That, yeah, that was the episode that introduced her. Uh, she uh, had some agendas, perhaps, but yes. uh, she bailed as soon as things got uh, life-threatening. <laughs> well, wouldn't you really? <clears throat> yeah. And Roger can't quite figure her out. Hmm. Well, I'll be going now. Me first, though. Hmm. <laughs> The Catwoman to his Batman, if you will. Mm. He likes it. <laughs> that makes my O the big O. What am I looking at here? You're looking at Dorothy uh, contending with the household. I see. Dorothy? She's showing off her hidden talents. <laughs> what, to turn hourglasses the right way up? Yeah, very in very quick succession. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Yeah, a likely story. <laughs> well, you see, ain't ooh, love that guy. <laughs> These diagonal trains—they're doing me a mystery, and I like yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> that's going to be the problem. Watching this with me is that I'll be in—I'll be in the middle of talking about something, and then some incidental detail that I care a lot about will show up, and I'm like, ooh. You gotta drink your water, mate. I know you probably haven't spoken much yet today, but the audience yeah. do not like the coughings. It's not really coughing. It's just having phlegm in the throat that I wasn't aware was there previously, but then rears its ugly head. Ah, uh, a woolly, if you will. Yes. <laughs> I love the guy, but he's like 50% phlegm for some reason. <laughs> no, driving my pretty car. No. God, he's got a really nice car as well. Fuck. He does. Hmm. <laughs> we all lost our memory, so. No, oh, yeah, that. I completely forgot about the amnesia <laughs> subplot. Yeah. That guy in the background had no definition to him. He wasn't important. <laughs> I don't talk to anyone until I've had my coffee. <laughs> it's a good way to appear mysterious. Yep. And you know, you gotta put on the aesthetics for Dawson. Oh yeah. Hmm. So is the domes like a uh, an upper class place or? Uh, no, no. This is a. Uh, uh, well, the whole city is domed. Okay. Is the idea like what's out there? No one really knows. Right. Uh, few glimpses have shown it to to seem to be somewhat of a wasteland. Although I believe he was referring to the sort of inner domes. Right. Which would be where uh the Business class. Oh, would, of course. Uh, yeah. Presumably live. Oh, I hate that guy so much. Uh. We were friends once, though. Yeah. He just cooks it up and is like, how the hell did he wind up with a mansion? Yeah. <laughs> I want my memories back just so I can figure out how he scum fucked us out of that. Yeah, once we do, oh, oh man, there's gonna be some lawsuits. I'm in. So that's an interesting thing about Paradigm City. Uh, all the people who just don't care about the amnesia. Well, I mean, it's a chance to start fresh. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. I'm being a paper-filled room, gosh. You know, Roger, he's, a real, he's real fun. I love him a lot. He's... His competence outside of being in a robot is often more informed than it is shown. Well, I mean, that's how you create such a cocky character, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Although, that was a pretty sick uh, Batman grapple rescue. What? Hey! There he is. So here's like our first recurring antagonist. Is he a member of the KKK? What's going on here? Oh, never mind. Now I see him up close. It's definitely not a wizard set. Oh. So were you that reporter guy? Seems a bit. Uh, he's got things going on. Seems a bit sus that you target an empty apartment. It's almost like you're getting yeah. rid of evidence. 
Yes, we must, with the shovel of justice. Dorothy always picks unorthodox places to be standing. <laughs> well, she hasn't got any, like, fear of heights, and I imagine she, her balance outweighs that of a regular human. Oh, yeah, totally. Uh, she could just jump down and land and be fine, although there would be a sizable impact upon the street when she does so. Yeah, please stop throwing your robo-maid off the, the balcony, <laughs> Roger. We can't keep paving these streets. I don't recall if there's ever been... I think there are... I feel like there are jokes about her weight at some t at some point. Yeah. Because, you know, it's an easy joke with a robot girl. Oh, of course. You know, you got the, uh, you know, don't no, never ask a woman her weight thing, the comedy you get with that, and the fact that she genuinely would, like, weigh, like, a ton. Yeah. Did someone fucking sneak a Sega Mega Drive sound font into the background? What's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, <laughs> usually it's just uh, smooth jazz, but so now we got a bit of a MIDI, I guess. So yeah, Roger's <laughs> figuring out uh, what a subway is. Yeah. I suppose you'd have to have the amnesia and whatnot. That is a really interesting concept, actually. Just these regular things that you take for granted. Yeah, and uh, keep in mind, uh, Roger's the only one who's ventured further than, like, a l like he's the only one who's gone further than his eyes could see from the entrance into yeah. the underground areas, mm -hmm. which, you know, is the handy explanation for why no one ever cares to notice or track Big O's, the giant robot's movements underground. Of course. All right. Yeah, this is real interesting. He doesn't know why he's scared, though. Yeah, there's... Um, there's a muscle memory fear in him. I'm not scared. You're scared. Oh, it's a ghost. It's yeah, this is a one of my favorite things about Roger. Uh, he's he, he's of he is vulnerable. Uh, he is a very vulnerable character. Uh, mm. Despite he he, but he like also prides himself on you know his rationality because uh, obviously his line of work he needs to be constantly thinking calmly. But sometimes, you know, the world of this show just is so alien at times and uh, tests him that uh, it, it really challenges that aspect of him. No. Yeah. Though he still tries his best to, like, you know, think rationally and, like, actually think through things and question things. He doesn't just stand back and go, whoa, what's oh going God, on yeah. here? He's, uh, like, if he's presented with something super weird and alien, like, he'll actually, like, once he's over the initial shock, he will try and, like, think through it, like, the implications of it, the philosophy. It's yeah. what makes him so entertaining to watch uh, as the show gets uh, more and more off the rails. Damn, he got murked. I forgot about that. Yeah. Hmm. Not sure how to take that comment, Roger. <laughs> hmm. That sounds like a cope to me. <laughs> so, Dorothy, we've been walking for 20 hours now, and I was, I've been meaning to ask if you knew the way, because I didn't. I was following <laughs> I'm just you. just assuming that you know where you're going. <laughs> Okay, this area of pink seems best. That's yeah. what she said, Roger. Hmm, white room. Good. Hmm. 
Hmm. Did you see Dorothy's look of concern back there? Oh, I see it now. Uh, the eyes trembling. There's a lot going on in yes. like every frame of this show. Check that artistic camera angle back there also. I saw it, man. I saw it. <laughs> like it's drawing the characters like shorter and shot to make everything else seem bigger. Yeah. Oh. So that looks to be the corpse of a dove. Yeah, Mega Deuce, that's what they call them. Hi. Schwarzwald. It's clearly lacking power. Yeah. Oh, yes, I would love that power. And he just starts humping the robot. Can you stop that, please? <laughs> hmm. Oh. He walks into my trap, fucker <laughs> Speaking in tongues. <laughs> She's just been having a conversation with the Megadeuce. Oh, I see. Yeah, the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you could have found you could have found a less silly way to do that. Ah, but that scream though. So this place was an expo hall, is what I got out of this. Uh. Yeah, yeah, it did say Expo back there, so... Uh, yeah, Expo 04. You, you can assume that... He's fine, by the way. Uh, you can assume, <laughs> <laughs> perhaps, that this was some sort of... Um, perhaps the Megaduces weren't exactly uh, all that alien in origin. No. Perhaps... They're a relic of a time closer than we thought. Just trusting that Big O can get here. Well, There's a junkie boy. Yeah. <laughs> Hit his head <laughs> getting up. Oh, that's relatable. How do you know it's after her? <laughs> yeah, that's a really <laughs> big <laughs> assumption to make, Roger. Yeah, the two of you are standing next to each other. <laughs> it took me a moment. <laughs> yeah. See, this show has some great gags. Uh, Norman, especially. This is very Shadow of the Colossus. Mm. The music's even Shadow of the Colossus ish. Yeah. Okay, we'll fucking kill it dead then. Yeah, Dorothy's having a bit of a, a bit of an episode. I can't has hug. No, you may not has <laughs> hug. See, he's fine. <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he gets blown up. He's fine. Dorothy, just go to bed. Yeah, I'm trying to concentrate here. Big old mecha fight. Just, just, just sleep, Dorothy. Don't eat too much of that. I, I, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wanted it. Tell you what, put it in the oven. Put it on a slow heat. Yeah, I'll be home soon enough. <laughs> Yeah, you know what, Norman, actually, j just don't eat it at all until we get back. Yeah. It's rude to start eating without us. 
You know, it never claimed to be a god. You're putting words in its mouth. Can't okay. just assume Schwarzwald speaks yeah. for the Megadeuce. Okay, so we got the big punches. What does he have? Oh. He's got being feral. The big jobs, yeah. He's a feral he's a boy. He's a spider monkey. Uh, again with the electricity. Yeah. Get off. Go on. Chew. Gotta say, the control pit of Big O is like like one of my favorite control pit designs mm-hmm. uh, in a lot of mecha shows. Because you kind of have to straddle the line between like aesthetically pleasing and functional, you know? Yeah. Uh, one, I like how roomy the cockpit of Big O is. Like, I like how Dorothy can just be there. In the <laughs> well, corner. that's probably the reason it is so roomy, so other people can ride alongside. But yeah, all this other shit that like uh, the the two levers I think that he uh, pulls back a lot are mm-hmm. really cool. Like this just seems like I would like you could tone this down and just have it like be like an arcade cabinet for a big O arcade game, and that'd be really awesome. Oh, that would be pretty fantastic. You just know, yeah, you just know it would just feel good to like pull those pull those two big levers back to uh, rev up a punch. Mm-hmm. I think we may have overdone it. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, Big O's always going to cause collateral damage, no matter where he is. <sighs> Roger! <laughs> Dawson's is like, you were underground. How did you do this to me? Roger finds a way. Hey, Dawson doesn't know Roger's in Big O at this point. I, I, actually, I don't think he finds out. I don't... I don't I, ah, God, that's the one part of the show I blink on, is whether or not Dawson is aware of Roger and Big O's connection. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, now you just show it off. <laughs> uh, she's great. I love her. Wow. Meanwhile, here. Yes, come on. Gotta build up the mystery. Oh, fine. Oh, no side. No side. I'm just gonna skip ahead, see if there's, like, a stinger. Okay, the next episode is called Bring Back My Ghost, and now I'm very intrigued. (laughs) Oh, that was a really fun episode, actually. Yeah, introduced uh, Schwarzwald. Yeah. Who will be uh, a character that appears a few times? A manic and fire bombing ghost man thing. Yeah, he he will do things. He sure will, Neo. He should <laughs> bless you. He sure. He will. will act upon the plot. Okay, that's fair enough. All right, you ready for episode five? Uh. I am certainly ready for episode five. Here we go. Episode five of Big O's Dub. In three, two, one. Okay, Koki, we're off. Play that funky music. Big O, Big O. Spin and watch. Yeah. You know, it took me a while uh, when I first, you know, went through this show. Uh, well, I guess second went through this show because I first watched it when it was on Adult Swim, but I was pretty young. Mm-hmm. But my first, like, actual, like, go through watch and not just waiting for it to appear on the TV. Uh, it took me a while for this, oh, the visuals of this opening to really grow on me. Yeah. But I- I'm real into it now. Like, it's, it's kind of minimalist. They've got like these, you know, sort of stock images that they've put on in front of this, uh, background they've generated and they're spinning things around and just having things move around, which is, you know, it's it's not the most complex thing in the world. No. But uh it it, it it's a good way to complement the music. It's striking. They it just want yeah. these two to get your attention. Okay. Hmm. All is dark, except for the street lamps. That's <laughs> light. Must suck to be homeless and have amnesia. <laughs> yeah. These are all the people who couldn't figure out whether or not they had homes. You know, like, Roger was able to find some kind of proof that he lived in that mansion. 
Mm. You have to imagine that no, not everyone had proof. You have to imagine some of it was just whoever found the empty house first just decided they lived there. Wow, yeah, you're right. Creepy. I don't have any idea what's going on here. I'm just enjoying the banter. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Where did you learn to drive? <laughs> huh? Oh, my God. Yep. And another... Yeah, see, sometimes giant things just appear in the distance, and that's very frightening. The doll did it. No, the yeah. homeless did it. They did. Yes, good. They're dead. And I did it. <laughs> Bring back my ghost. <laughs> it's like a fucking title for a Super Best Friends cast thing. I want it back. <laughs> no, seriously, I need my ghost. Now, is the ghost the same spirit as a soul? The same thing, even? Uh, uh, you mean just in general? Yeah, it would be the soul, wouldn't it? I guess, suppose. I mean, a soul. Hmm. It depends on what you quantify as a soul. I'm not, different cultures have different ideas. It could be the imprint of the mind left behind by the decayed yeah. body, and I think we're getting off track now. And yeah, the difference between a spirit and a soul, or quantitate. You know, yeah. We're getting off track. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so you know what? We'll have to schedule these for later in the day if you want me to get into existential philosophy. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> hmm. I like when they choose to have uh, the robotic sound effects for when she moves sometimes. Yeah. Just uh, it's not... Sometimes. Yeah, it's it's only there for flavor. Uh, you know, it's not going... They're not going to just constantly do it and have it distract from shit, but sometimes it really does add to the mood. Yes, you stupid big dumb man. With yeah. your coat and robots. Why don't you? Un why can't you read of human emotion as well as I can, Roger? I, I can't remember what those are. <laughs> <laughs> I remember car and driving and robot and butler. <laughs> I would have loved if he said it's mostly in the east. That's <laughs> what, that's how it's got its name after all. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense for a place riddled with amnesia. Oh, that thing's in the east. Hang on, what's east, though? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, well, we're unraveling a separate set of problems there. You can find a compass, a map, lying yeah. around. What is a compass and what is a map, though? You could intuit what a compass is without it, with amnesia, I feel. Okay. And, you know, it's not like they had complete... It's not like they were just reduced to blubbering <laughs> oh. uh, Neanderthals. That would have been much funnier. <laughs> also something about a giant robot? No, ma'am. No, that's just the dementia setting. Yeah, he's kind of a dick now. Hmm. Is he like Mafia or something? <laughs> no, he's just... He's just very rude to me. Okay. Hmm. Well, that was a waste of my time. <sighs> well, I'm happy I came here just to be complimented. Yeah. I'm not going to play tennis with you. No. That's not my job description. <laughs> hmm. 
And I'm going to do it too, you silly fucking Beano dandy looking motherfucker. Look at you. Get your hand off my car. <laughs> I'm going to drive off, and you're not going to be happy with how that feels about you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to jump in this fountain and have a swim. You just think Roger's just thinking though, know, everyone laughed at me for having these sunglasses around in the dome city. Yeah. But now here we are in the artificial sunlight area. <laughs> here we are indeed. Now who's laughing? I will, so you can berate your son and call him ungrateful for leaving. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yeah, that'll do yeah. it. And uh, that's what martyrdom will do for you. Yeah. Oh, we had no idea someone was going to die. Yeah, oh gosh. Oh, I brought this gun... And I wasn't going to use it, it was just for the aesthetic. And we were charging at each other? And, yeah. Oh, jeez. Like, forget all these plans that I've written up about destroying, you know, the Vox Populi and all that. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the usual. Pretty sure that's a song. I remember it from Brutal okay. Legend. Okay. Uh, rag time. Yeah. yeah. Such an aesthetic. Oh, man. Well, the, guy, uh, the voice actor for that guy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he's got such a... Uh, whenever I hear... I don't, I don't hear him too often, but whenever I do, I'm always happy. He's also a jelly jiggler. Bo -bo -bo. Mm hmm Never watched the dub for that, but I know Richard Epcar is the titular character. Yeah, uh, but this guy, uh, Jameson Pierce, mm -hmm. that's who it is. Again, the tanks, just for a stag. <laughs> yeah, I can see, though. <laughs> just a little fidgety. Yeah, just a little bit. That's not a good thing for a military commander to be, by the way. Usually not. Yeah, well. <laughs> maybe one day I'll walk in here without getting my usual and without wearing my glasses. Maybe one day I'll come here for reasons other than it fitting my aesthetic to yeah. talk to someone mysteriously <laughs> while rag time plays. Fuck. Dorothy's been waiting out here for you the whole time. Well, she doesn't feel temperature, so... <laughs> and so they ate dinner. Yeah. Well, I'm here and I asked nicely. I even said please. It's not oh. rude that I'm sitting like this, right? No, well, can you even <clears throat> sit on the thing or not at all? Like, don't do things halfway, Roger. Brr. 
Oh, I missed the perfect opportunity to follow up with unlike Bonnie's body. Things that hold water for 500. Mm. Love being in the room when developments come to the chief. Oh, yeah. That's why we keep you around, Dawson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a driving. Hmm? Hang on. Oh, boy, I'm being kidnapped. You're not sacrificing me to a ghost, are you? The right way back to hell. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, but I didn't mean it. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> First, you apologize for killing them. Then you shoot them. Yeah, I'm getting mixed messages. Oh, fuck. Stop. Damn it. I'm already dead, though. Ouch. <laughs> not, not very good ghost. Oh, oh here, here he goes. It's my stand. Her ghost in the fog. It's the ghost. Ah, oh, fuck. Why did I not look where I was going? And he falls into the river just like I did. Wait, hey. should I survive that? Got you. <laughs> <laughs> of all the things to announce fuck first. yeah. Tell him, Dawson. Fuck off, ghost. <laughs> There's no such thing as ghosts, but even if there were, we could shoot them with our guns. Oh, yes. The Ghostbusters are on route, sir. Good, good. Now we'll see who's a ghost and who's afraid ah. of said ghost. Fuck. Okay, Did we I may be dealing with time. Goku here. Did I mention last time how much I loved Austin? Yes, very much. <laughs> He's so good. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, it's the Megadeus. Oh, yeah. Hey. We gotta stop running into each other like this, Dawson. <laughs> there it is! Sure promise. Ye not guilty. Yes. Cast in the name of God. Hmm. The sound effects. Uh... Not, very, not very good shot. Oh, a hologram, is it? Hmm. I'm over here now. Love the silhouette shots. Hell yeah. See, I'm bobbing up and down. <laughs> Dawson never quite knows who to root for. Yeah. Well, the ghost's not real, but Big O clearly is. Yeah. Let's just duck under the water again. Gotcha. Without the flames. Oh, where did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> That's one way to have a dash, I guess. Yep. Oh, he makes very creative use of those hook shots. And we've triangulated. Fuck yeah. Damn. Sniped. It's your typical projected an object to basically disguise where you are sort of scenario.
Hmm. I'll be taking my leave now. Yeah. Don't mind the giant hole at the bottom of the river. Also, get out of the river. Yeah. Oh, go salt real, thank God. Thank you for showing us your functionality. Yes. For uh, you, you passed on. Thus clearing it up so that I don't have to exit my giant robot to tell them. Beautiful. Just like Godzilla, he returns to the sea. Yeah. So we'll what? arrest Big O some other day. Yeah. Once we find handcuffs big enough, we'll get them. <laughs> oh my god, it's him! Yes. The other one. Yes. We should arrest that guy, right? Now, give him a second. I want to see what happens. Okay, hold on. No. <laughs> if he asks to go see his mom for her birthday, then we should let that happen first. Yeah, so just once. She doesn't He's have much time just a bit left. of a terrorist. Yeah, just a little bit. Micro-terrorism. We, we got rid of his weapon. He's not going to be a terrorist anymore. We can let him see mom. Hmm. Fuck. Yeah. Well, let's Kinda see how it with an actual <laughs> gunshot. From let's see how he survived then. Oh. Hmm. Somehow. Hmm. Or it might have been the robot instruction manual that I found lying next to me. Possibly, but I forgot I read that and then I, I retained the memory somehow and... Like how you can see his charming smile even in the silhouette. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Roger. I can negotiate my heart. Oh, bless. Get ready for feels. Yeah, the police are just outside. Mm hmm. <sighs> Bit late for that. Yeah. I also won't ever commit terrorism. Yeah. Oh. Hold on. If just you hear anything, off. brother did it. Yeah. What? Yeah, I, I didn't catch <laughs> most of that either. <laughs> That's just Dawson to most things, honestly. Roger has a lot of great lines where he just, uh, 
he'll, he'll just say something like really philosophical and poetic. Uh, th- th- there are a few lines that I that I still remember to this day. Hey, yeah. they have a good oh. relationship. That's nice. Like, I expected him to just be a prick, but he's not. Yeah. We have he come to terms. He, he, yeah, he believed very strongly that his brother was dead, so. No. Oh. All right, skip ahead a little bit. Uh, a Legacy of Amadeus is next. Yeah. Ooh, lots of twists and turns in that episode with a good helping of feels at the end. Yep. I don't really have anything else to add beyond that, man, unless you do. Well, no, it's just another uh, strong episode of a strong show. Right, you ready to finish off this batch of episode six? With Big O, episode six, yes. All right, here we go. The last part of this batch, Big O's dub, episode six, in three, two, one. All right, another repeat to sit through. Big you're not sitting oh. through it, you're experiencing it. <laughs> okay, dear. So the slow pad over the watch gets me every time. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, it is a nice watch, don't get me wrong. The full version of this is also very good. Oh, I can imagine, yeah. It's mo- it is basically just the song, but three, but two minutes longer. But, you know, that's the same with Flash Gordon. Yeah. Cast in the name of God, ye not the guilty. Yes. This is a train. It goes... Vrrr. Still the train. Train again. Yeah, but closer up every time. <laughs> this is a robot. That's, that's a, car. a car. That's, that's Roger. That's a man. Yeah, that's a man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a newspaper. Those are letters. And that's an OP. Good stuff. See, there, uh, the episodes are actually called Acts because this was inspired by Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, of course, yeah. Yeah, you can see it in every frame, actually. Yeah, like, you know, Roger he has spines like a hedgehog, drives a robot like Eggman. Yeah. That's humans, just like in Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it kind of begins and ends, really. Love Dorothy playing the piano loud and very loud in the morning. Bitch, do it's you so mind? <laughs> I love her so much. <laughs> I'm not one to waifu easily, but goddamn. You know that fucking um, meme where it's like, Honey, it's time for your 4pm dick flattening. Like, yes, dear. <laughs> I, I, I saw one where it's like, Roger, you slept in past noon again, and he's like, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you need to keep these robots trained and have them go for walkies, otherwise they'll just piddle all over the house. She keeps me sharp, Norman. <laughs> yes, she does. I need to be prepared for her random barbs and insults that cut deeper than any blade. I'm sorry, but when that, that, just in my mind, when he stepped on the pedal, I thought he was going to leave Dorothy on the pavement and then drive off. <laughs> Driving like crazy. Yeah. Roger, where are we going exactly? I don't know. I just need to drive and fast. Roger, you really gotta, <laughs> you really gotta learn to appreciate classical piano. There you go. I would love it if Dorothy played piano for me. Yeah, be pretty chill, actually. Hmm. Ah, pub and restaurant. Oh, you're taking me to a bar now. You could have taken me to a fancy place, not this fucking dive. Or was it one of those s- <laughs> secret art installations in the seedy parts of town? I love those. Roger, if this is you making a move on me, <laughs> you're going to have to try harder than this.
Yeah, unlike you, you soulless wow. abomination. Well, did we just walk into an episode of Batman the Animated Series? Uh, <laughs> oh, I mean, this <laughs> yeah, it's also a robot. So, Dorothy, you have no excuse. Everyone here is an android. I think. Yes, I understand what yeah. one means. Yeah, it means she doesn't get it. <laughs> one! She just has to sit here and uh, be subjected to piano music that Roger says is better than hers. Yeah, marked entirely by another more android-looking android. I hope Dorothy just... Dorothy, now she's fighting the urge to just go up there and, like, hammer away like great balls of fire to <laughs> show everyone up and get applause. So, like, everyone else here is human apart from that robot, right? Yeah. Okay, I completely read that wrong. I've told you to call me Fred Droid. Hello. You're kind of okay, I guess. Rock me, Amadeus. <laughs> kind of odd. Didn't leave anything to his human relatives, but still. <laughs> My father was an even more brilliant scientist. <laughs> yes, he was. <laughs> Pretty sure that guy was like one of the scientists from Mewtwo Strikes Back who got blown up. <laughs> Just judging by the hairstyle. I dreamed of creating the world's best piano playing robot, and I succeeded. Oh, she can sing too. Yeah. Yes, that's right, sing. You'll be the best at what you do. And what you do is very pretty. It sure is. <laughs> she's oh, she's miffed. Seething is what she is. If a robot can <laughs> seethe, <laughs> fucking Roger. <laughs> <laughs> At least she's still she still has ingrained politeness so hard to see like curtsies, <laughs> even though like <laughs> she's not happy. No. Yeah, you're playing the music, but you're not feeling the music. No, you're supposed to insult her. Oh, fine. She's a bitch then. No, too far. <laughs> you went too far. Yes, good. Yes. What the fuck? The <laughs> different anime seem to be invading this one anime. There's here. precedent for people to look like that. I, I fucking heard that. Her fucking uh, scientist person in that one episode. Yeah, uh, yeah. And are you forgetting Schwartz? <laughs> yeah, I'm not forgetting Schwartzwald, okay. But yeah, that hat, it's a bit much, ain't it? And the claws. <laughs> the cape. Uh, if you'll need me, I'll be in bleach. <laughs> He's actually going to turn out to be a very nice philanthropist with no scruples. Okay. It's nice change of pace, uh, honestly. Teach you, you know, to teach you to, uh, you know, not judge a book by its cover. Oh, but I want to. What's the point of having a cover if you can't judge it? <laughs> we saw him smiling for a, for a brief <laughs> bit. And then Roger just took that happiness away. Yeah, he he was finally conversing with Roger about something he he could be happy about, and then Roger just used it to peek through some files. <laughs> 
Your friendship with Dawson is important, Roger. You need to you need to maintain it. Yeah, otherwise you just gotta be stuck with like a robot and an old man for friends. <laughs> Which isn't bad, but it's not ideal. Yeah. Father's Roger, though. <laughs> yeah, it sure does. Fuck Roger. <laughs> Father's that motherfucker, something fierce. <laughs> okay, he's German. Okay. Alarm bells ringing already. I mean, all the scientists in Paradigm dress like that. What were you expecting? Yeah. And I love casting a good silhouette. I'm just here, playing my piano. If that robot dies, I'm going to be very sad. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being murdered in here. Come back later. <laughs> Push it over. <laughs> I love her. Well, never mind then. <laughs> Roger and Dorothy are the best. Like, they just... Their chemistry is so nice. What? Did Goku and Vegeta have a fight in here or something? Yes. Let's go fight somewhere empty. How about in one of Dorothy's recitals? <laughs> <laughs> Theme of worry. Thank you, Dorothy. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, his little dicky bow. I mean, I've grown to appreciate him for he complimented my piano playing, unlike a certain someone else I know. Yes, someone else in the car, <laughs> Roger. Ringing any bells? The dashboard? No, you fucking clod. Stupid <laughs> idiots, bitch. Ha ha ha, very funny, someone's fucking dead. <laughs> you don't know if he's dead. <laughs> well, he was never alive to begin with, so... <laughs> that won't stop me, because I can't read. I don't get to use these often <laughs> enough, thanks, Roger. Uh, kind of went a bit too far and shut down the trees as well. Just kidding. They were already cut down before. Hmm. This is prime real estate, though. Why is it left abandoned? Hmm. Well, since I'm here... <laughs> So Amadeus had an actual son, is what I got from that. Mm. And a Megadeus. Ah, I see. What are the odds? Oh god, it's a Spider-Tron. Mm -hmm. Yes? Must crush him now. <laughs> What's oh. going on, Roger? Hello, Roger. What, is it like a battery now? <laughs> this is my body now. Yes. Can't really play piano anymore. Sorry. Yeah. Ever since Dorothy surpassed me, I just was consumed with rage. Oh. I'm talking to my friend. Oh. 
I know that guy's voice. Hmm. Listen to my voice. Yes, it's put it very... down. <laughs> okay, I'm going to kill Roger, but then I'm going to kill you. That's a fair trade. <laughs> I've just decided that, you know what? Why? If you have a giant robot, you better, might, you better just use it. Yeah. This is a fairly good point. Roger, why do you have to philosophize at me at the worst times? <laughs> there we go, cut him out. Yeah. Oh, uh, intro is voiced by Kirk Thornton. Interesting. Ooh. Yeah. So this will be the first time that uh, Roger will be... F Fighting. I don't think he's ever had to fight someone in Migo and not had to worry about any moral or personal conflicts involved in, like, severely hurting them. Right. Previously, they've all been either actual monsters or unpiloted. Oh, that's who the voice reminds me of. The guy that plays a... Uh... Giseng is Geppetto in Kingdom Hearts and uh, oh, Disney stuff. Yeah. So hey, here's someone now who who I guess knows that Roger is in Big O. Yeah, there you go. Kind of cool. Yeah. You saw it before, Roger, just on a smaller scale. Well, that's... So, yeah, mm. uh, two Megaduces can uh, look into each other's cockpits. Oh, okay. Is this the first Megaduces fault that's actually been piloted by another... Well, pilot? Uh, yes. Interesting. Yes, yes. Uh... In that first episode, the cri that criminal gang had, like, some- had a mechanical beast of sorts, I think? Yeah. But I, I don't think it was- I I'm pretty sure it wasn't a Megaduce, and they weren't necessarily in any cockpits, so. Oh? Oh, the piano music. We're heading towards an emotional climax. We sure are. It's yeah. <sighs> Dorothy just got bored. That's hot in those beats. Yeah. Oh. This is way better tune than your piano, Roger. Sure is. I was carry this back home with us. I mean... <laughs> Can she hear you from over there? We gotta get paid. <laughs> Got him. I think Instro just lost the will to live. Uh, no, I think... he's That or he's just struck by the beauty. Ah, fuck me! <laughs> I cannot let you destroy such beautiful songs. Oh, his double-sided top, huh? Yeah. It's a tasteful cut to not show him getting smushed. Wow. Well, can't take away from the beauty yeah. of the scene. I do love a good piano ballad.
Okay, now play Piano Man. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Free bird. <laughs> play Closing Time. Play Don't Stop Believing. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> I'm showing you my secret identity. Oh, I already knew Roger. This better not be an I'm going to die now speech intro. Oh, God. On Roger, philosophize your heart out. Yes, that's right. Hell yeah. Well, now I feel silly for ripping my hands off. Yeah, see, all of Roger's, like, proselytizing and deep philosophy about choosing your own path. Dorothy just takes the elevator and is like, actually, you said you'd teach me. Yeah. <laughs> <And that's>, <laughs> just said. <laughs> and that's what gets to him. You know... Android to talk to a robot. Yeah. That's what you need. Yes. Yes, good. Like this, you see. So yeah, he uh, went ahead and put his hands back on. Yeah. Because, I mean, could you say no to Dorothy? I couldn't. <laughs> I don't know, dear, personally. I can't imagine. I couldn't say no to that face. Absolutely love her when she smiles. Oh. Ding dong. All right, time to get up. Ah, uh, oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> it's backfired. Wah, wah. Now there's two of them. Oh, Lord. All right, let's give it again. Da, 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 da. The Call from the Past is the next episode. Ooh, that's going to be a fun one. Because don't forget, we are commissioned to do basically all of Big O. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. So what did you think of that last episode, mate? Uh, yeah, it's real good. Uh, that's um, probably... Mm, I'd say that's maybe my third or second favorite uh, of the sort of standalone Monster of the Week episodes. Mm. Yeah, I like uh, intro a lot, yeah. Yeah, it's got a really strong connection uh, with uh, the character they introduce, uh you have that through line of Dorothy and the piano, and that's great. Uh, a lot. I love any Dorothy centric episode. Uh, it's just also a example of this show's great aesthetic stylings and uh, philosophical uh, storytelling that they engage in. Uh, that's a lot of what I love about this show is real right present in that episode yeah yeah i agree i agree uh so yeah more big o to come thank you so much nate for commissioning these and if you guys want your own tv comms head to patreon.com forward slash hellfire comms hit up the tiers see what you want you can even get a movie comm if you so see it fit but make sure you run stuff past us first just in case it's been done before or you can just go look at the playlist whichever is easiest for me and you all right guys we'll see you next time for another batch of tv comms bye bye